Hi, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Now we're going to look at the subtalar joint. We're going to look at two motions. We're going to look at subtalar eversion and inversion. Okay, we think that is more of the anterior joint. And then as a posterior joint, we think more of a rotation. So I'm going to do it. Let's hand I'm going to grab the calcaneus and the rotation for it. Get this hand out of the way. The rotation is that. That's the motion for rotation. It looks like this. For inversion, eversion, it's this motion. So it's this way for inversion, eversion, and this way for internal external rotation of the subtalar joint. So as we go, if we want to do eversion, we go in here, we go into the below the sustentaculum talli on this side. This side we go a little bit onto the talus, and then we're going to go as a glide. So we take up the slack into inversion, take up the slack and spring. And if we go the other way, Again, we go onto the talus on this side, onto the calcaneus on this side, and we could do inversion. Okay, and now if we're going to do the rotation part, more of the posterior joint, my this hand will go on the bottom part. I'm going to do rotation. Again, I'm going to I'm going to show you from here, but the way, the way I really do it would be like this, and it would be just I want you to see that there's rotation of the subtalar joint, just like that. The talus has to rotate. Within the more within the subtalar joint itself. So if we go for treatment wise, if we're going for more for a, a mobilization, we can go to end range, we can hold it and spring it, or we can have the patient go on their side. So go on your this side for me. Okay, and we can do that. Let me grab that towel for you so we don't bother you. And for this one, for subtalar eversion we can go into here this is going to hold the table we could stabilize here the joint is right there it's probably not the most comfortable one and i'm going to do is take up the slack and push down in that direction so take up the slack with this hand stabilize here take up the slack and then do a little bit of a glide towards the floor and it's said to be more we can do it more on the posterior joint through that. Okay, we can hold it, we could do we could do oscillations. And then again, go into your back, we could retest and see how we did. So we could retest the ability to evert is what we just worked on. Um, and then we could do a different video, you'll see the ability to do the subtalar joint interrotation. So Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.